Welcome back everybody, this is Sean from Board Paracord. Um, I've got a new one for you, and I just need to take this all apart so I can get started on it. It's a brand new design, and I don't have a name for it, so I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So I'm just going to basically show you what I've got here, and then we'll go from there. I've got a, about a 5 8 inch buckle. I've got about seven feet which is more than enough of the day glow seven feet of black fused it in the middle and we're just gonna take our ends and what I've already done oh I dropped it there I've already uh, flattened the ends here and we're just gonna take this through the top we're gonna go down through the buckle it's very important that you start on if you use this buckle it's very important you start on the smaller side so we're going to go down through the bottom and open up your two long ends reach through pull all your excess through and I think the black's a little bit longer than the day glow and we got a bit of a twist going on all right, so we'll get that out of there. Get this tightened up, and this is how you do a. This is how you get your cow's hitch all s settled in on there. Get that nice and tight. All right, then we're gonna basically flip the buckle over, run your fingers, or run the paracord through your fingers. That gets rid of all your twisting, and then you're gonna flip your buckle back over. So this is the top side. And you're going to go up through the bottom and pull all your excess through again. Okay. And we got, oh, these got twisted. So to untwist that, you just get them in here and you just turn it over. That'll get your twist out of there. So now we got a day glow side and a black side, just like so. Alright, so we can open up our buckle. Black's gonna go off to one side. The day glow is gonna go off to the other. I'm gonna pull out some of the slack here. And we're gonna go off of this one. So I'm gonna make this. We'll go right there. And when I get to the end, I'll measure the bracelet and give you the links and all that stuff. So to get this started, all you're going to do is the basic Solomon. So just take your left cord, create a loop on the left, take your cord over the top of the two inner strands, take your right cord over the black, and then go around the back and bring it up through this loop. And pull everything tight. Okay. Get this pushed up towards the buckle, that'll help you lock it on. And then you want to remeasure just to make sure that the length is where you want it to go. Because once you go past this step, it's going to be hard to change it without unraveling everything. So, we're going to take our right side and we're just going to go over top of the, the, the right strand, the inner strand. We're just looping around it. Take that off to the right. So you just did one loop that went over top, around the bottom, or around the back, and then off to the right. Now this one's going to go under, and then over. So it's the exact opposite. Okay. You can kind of pull these tight, but it's not necessary quite yet. Alright, now you're going to do the same thing. The right side's always going to go in a counterclockwise motion and did I do that right? yeah I did that right, okay it's always going to go this way around and this one's always going to go the other way so now we're going to actually cross the two so once you get that one you're going to take this one over top again and just kind of set it there in the middle this one is going to go around and see how they cross right here Whoa, I kind of messed that up, didn't I? Okay, so you've got your cross here. 
We'll get our green pulled through. Now we're just going to cross them again and continue on with the pattern. So basically all you did here is you included each other into it. So the black now has to go underneath. This is a variation of the sawtooth. I think that's what it's called. Um, Alright, so we'll get this pulled through. And now you can kind of cinch everything up, get it pulled tight, and kind of keep everything in place. And then do it again. So you're just going to go around once. So we're just kind of looping it around the inner strand. That one went over top first. Yep, okay, so that one went over top first. Now this one's going to go underneath and then over. Remember, it's the exact opposite of the other side. All right. And now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to cross each other in the center. And I'm going to cross these real quick, and then I'm going to show you a close-up of what we have going on here. Just so you can see this. There you go. So you can see we basically wrapped the first one here, and then we're basically doing the same thing, but instead of just incorporating the center piece or the center strand, we're actually going around the other working end. We're doing the same thing with the other side. First wrap around the inner strand and then come back and kind of crisscross the two in the center. And once you get to this point, then you can kind of cinch everything up and pull out your slack. And what this is going to want to do, this, this buckle is going to want to twist this way. After each pass, you're just going to want to straighten that out. That'll take care of all the uh, twisting that might happen. Alright, I'm going to do one more, kind of close up. And I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back to show you how to finish it. Oh, i got to share a funny story. I was at the bank the other day when I was at work. And I saw a guy come out of the bank. He was wearing a paracord bracelet. And I was getting out of my car at the time, so I walked up and I said, Hey, did you make that? And he goes, Yeah, I made it. And I go, um, Actually, I think he said something about, uh, Yeah, I watched a video on how to make that. I go, Oh, really? I do videos on, on YouTube. And he goes, Oh, yeah, who are you? And I go, I'm bored paracord. And he goes, Oh, yeah, I, th I think I've watched your videos. Well, <laughs> that's not the, the funny part. The funny part is the guy was kind of thrown off by me um, approaching him in the parking lot and he really uh, wanted to get back to his car pretty quick. So I think I scared the guy. But uh, So if you're watching, I'm, I apologize. I didn't mean to scare you. Um, it's probably not the best place to approach somebody after them coming out of the bank, but <laughs> it happened and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully he forgives me. Alright, so there was another one. I'm going to finish this on up, and then I will be back. So there you, there you go. You can kind of see what we got going on here. Um, kind of reminds me of the barbed wire design a little bit, because you got the little holes in the center of it. Still looks pretty good, though. Um, I, I am running out of room here, which I was thinking about maybe using some fids on this. But I think I still have, I think I still got enough room here where I can kind of squeeze this through here. The fids would definitely help you out right here at this point. But I think we'll be all right. So we'll take that that way. Oh, I got to tell you guys about a um, new paracording group on Facebook. It's called Paracord On. It's kind of my tagline at the end of the videos. Um, just go to. Uh, Facebook up in the search box type in paracord on with an exclamation point at the end and it will take you to the new group just uh, go in there we're, we're always discussing different 
paracord ideas, um, new designs, old designs, just a really good place right now. A lot of cool people in there. Um, so now I've only got room here for about two Solomons. So we're going to do one here. So we'll create a loop on the left. Take our black over that one. Take it around the back. Pull her tight. And we'll do one more here. And the reason why we got to finish this with the Solomon, it's one of the easier ways to finish the bracelet because it gives you two knots and it gives you a place to cut your end. Kind of messes up your whole design though. So we'll just move that down as much as we can without messing up our bracelet. Okay, that looks good. Got a little twisting action going on, so we'll get rid of that. And let me grab my tools here. Uh, where are my scissors? <laughs> One second, I gotta grab my scissors. Alright, there we go. Cut this end here. And you want to cut it as close to the bracelet as you can. And then we'll use the, the lighter, use the low part of the flame if you're using a regular lighter. And then if you're using a torch lighter, be really careful with that. Because it does it pretty fast. The low part of the flame will keep you from burning your paracord. And I've got this tool here. Just kind of rock it right on there, it gives you a super smooth edge. In. And I'm cutting about two feet off of this bracelet. And this is about an eight and a half inch bracelet. There we are. And that should work. There we go. I'm going to post this on the Paracord On Facebook page and I'm going to have you guys come up with a name for it. So Hope you like this one. Got the new buckle on there. Um, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, paracord on.